PwC has been accused of anti-Semitism after one of its senior leaders was exposed for tweeting terrorist propaganda and anti-Israel conspiracies. The controversy comes as the final report into the consulting firm's tax scandal is due to be released tomorrow. Senior reporter Caroline Marcus has this exclusive story. PwC has spent the past two years under scrutiny over its tax scandal. Now it faces a new controversy. History doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. It involves Melbourne-based senior leader Jim Christodoulos, who's tweeted about the conflict in Gaza hundreds of times since October 7, including telling followers to go F yourself with your fake outrage over the International Criminal Court seeking arrest warrants for Israeli leaders. His posts claim kidnapped Israeli women are treated far better than Palestinian detainees. Others suggest Israel invented mass rape claims from October 7. <laughs> Mr Christodoulos also shared videos from the military wing of terror group Palestinian Islamic Jihad, purporting to show an Israeli soldier being killed. Dr Debir Abramovich from the Anti-Defamation Commission says he's horrified by the posts. At a time when anti-Semitism is going through the roof in this country, the last thing we need is somebody of that position to pour fuel on the fire. But it was PwC's response that has left the Jewish rights group fuming. A PwC Australia spokesperson said the firm had spoken to the individual to remind them that while they are free to express themselves, everyone should do so in a measured and respectful fashion. It's understood PwC accepted its senior leader's explanation that he didn't think the posts were offensive and he would take a break from the social media platform. Dr Abramovich says PwC should have condemned the posts as evil and taken serious disciplinary action against the employee, particularly as the firm claims to be committed to diversity, inclusion, well-being. Tolerating anti-Semitism is anti-Semitism. PwC declined to respond to Dr Abramovich's claims. The latest controversy comes as the Senate prepares to release its final report into the PwC tax scandal on Wednesday. Caroline Marcus, Sky News.